Welcome and good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is part 159 of Let's Play Isaac. Let's roll our D4. Got a th God damn it! Got a three. Do not be the Spirit Sword Challenge or the fucking fiery urn of bullshit. Five. Since we got a three, we're going down. If I remember last time, I think it was a six. So. It should be something different. Thank God, we won't have the fiery urn of bullshit. Okay, everything's good. OBS, you're fine, OBS. OBS Chan, are you okay? Okay. Okay, challenges. One. Now, two, three, four. I don't think I've ever played this challenge. I think that's the thing with the Tainted Mary Magdalene character, which I have yet to actually ever play. I have never played this character before, and I don't even know how that character works. Something about lethal hugs or something. I don't know. I think I see Tira Grace play it once, like half a fucking year ago, when it first was a thing. Beyond that, um... I have no idea what's unique about the challenge. Well, fuck. That being said, I did watch a couple people do some Let's Plays of Halo a little bit, first couple parts. I watched a video by MK Fire and Ice, just all the cutscenes. I enjoyed the Halo cinematic. Um, I actually sat down and actually read through the fucking lyrics to <laughs> the Death Clock songs, because I've been thinking about trying to you know, do some karaoke at Death Clock. But it's going to be terrible because I can't sing and I'm just terrible. Plus, it would help if I practice. And I still haven't actually had a chance to actually practice it. I've read, I've, I've sat down and read some Dungeons and Dragons books while having a play in the background. And I'd at least read the lyrics. That way I could be more familiar because a lot of times you're like, you just listen to the song and don't really pay attention to the lyrics so much. You're like, okay. What can I actually say and not, you know, tongue twist myself? I think I'm mainly just going to stick to the very first album and just do the song Mermaider, Go Into the Water, Awaken, Bloodjecuted, Go Forth and Die, Fan Song, Last Vikings, Hatred Copter, Death Harmonic, and The Death Theme. But I was also considering Face Fisted and Better Metal Snake and stuff like that, and I was like, ah... Same way, briefcase full of guts. Like that's good, but it's like I was lis like I listened to that song, and I'm like I'm listening to how he's staccatoing certain things, and I'm like I'm not sure I can do that without either passing out or coughing up a fucking lung. It's just the, and I don't think my brain can process that pacing. <clears throat> that being said, Mermaid or two is really awesome, but I mean I already have Mermaid or one is the first thing, so maybe I can always come back to Mermaid or two. Though, during the Awaken song, you know, the moose does crackish, I'm going to have, like, granted, the most of the things are going to have a picture of Akuabara doing this karaoke thing from Yu Hakusho. I think during Awaken or moose does crackish, I have a picture of Vegeta from GT. I'm like, mustache, Vegeta, mustache, Vegeta. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Aside from that, I mean, some of these things... I mean... Bloodjercuted and the death theme <laughs> seem like the pacing for how you have to talk would be really hard, but I want to actually try to do that. But I'm going to have to, have to kind of practice. Face Fist would be kind of cool too, but it's just like, eh. Laser Cannon and Death Sentence. But yeah, like I said, Better Metal Snake would be like, Better Metal Snake! Better Metal Snake! Better Metal Snake! Better Metal Snake! And then there's a uh, laser cannon set death set. It's like die, die, Which actually just makes me think of the Kid Chameleon games, which technically there's only one, the original one that was made on Sega Genesis, which I actually did do a let's play of. But there's a guy out there like who's a professional player of the games called his channel is Winslater. 
And he played Kid Chameleon 2 and 3, which are both ROM hacks. And he's actually got, like, some speed records and stuff for being really good at it. And I think he actually played a couple of them blind. But, yeah, it's pretty cool, but I know a lot of those enemies, just like the teleporting skulls that just scream die at you when they teleport in. So there's that. <sighs> Beyond that, I was able to play one part of Tales of Arise. I still can't find the boss! Like I said, I mean, three months ago when I originally got lost in that game, people were like, how the fuck? Because I, I mentioned to a couple of them that were left playing it, and they were like, how? I'm like, well, I got lost. I can't find the boss. And they're like, but how, though? I'm like, I need the damn spell from Skyrim's clairvoyance at all times, both in real life and in every video game. Even if the video game's technically, it's linear. It's a straight path. It's basically an outdoor hallway. I still can't find the boss. I don't know where to go. So, what's up with this challenge? I have Book of Belial. Blood Oath. Blood Bag. Um, is that the uh, anemic one that Lazarus usually has? Okay, and... I have to go to... Looks like normal Satan. Huh. What does this unlock? At least I can shoot tears. Spiders, nobody wants to. I don't care. Oh, and I'm Bethany, so I can't pick up spirit hearts. I have a book of What? This is weird. And apparently I also not Maggie. So hey! We still have yet to ever play as that character. That'll change probably never. The blanket would be huge. I need that. Give me the thing that I require to live. get tired after one thrust. Dude, you've got to be a huge fucking disappointment. Ah! Damage and range, eh? Well, I absolutely want the blanket. Somehow give me the money to afford things. Fuck. I want the blanket! And here's the thing, I thought they would have at least gotten a decent amount of damage from the Blood Oath. I was like, maybe I'll get an Angel Deal or some shit. Ow. Ow. 
Well, this sucks. The string is supposed to increase my red heart drops, right? Without decreasing other drops. But drastically increase red heart drops. So I feel... feel like it's not doing its job. Not at all. Do I not get... A can't bring that with me! You fucking asshole! What do I even get for beating this challenge? Fucking gold sticker? Snake. Yeah, I'll probably wind up trying to do that karaoke thing next week. It'll be terrible because you know, it's karaoke, and I'm by no means professional anything. I'm a well, fuck up. I'm a professional fuck up. If you ever want somebody to fuck something up, I I'm your man. Professional fuck up. Extreme. Jack of all fuck ups. Master of his fuck up trade. Please? Thank you. Oh my god. Fuck this room. No, no, no. No! Do, do, do. Better man to snake! Better man to snake! Better man to snake! Better metal snake. Better metal snake. Better metal snake. Die. 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 Oh god, it's gonna be terrible I do the fucking karaoke. Like I said, I'll probably read some more Dungeons and Dragons and I'll listen to it and I'll probably at least. I need to at least practice the songs once through legitimately before just doing them. So I at least can kind of do it.
that would be interesting to do more and more work on it and just like have like, hey, here's take one. This is how. Ow, I forgot that was gonna. I was like, I have full health, yay! And then all of a sudden, no, no, fuck you. You don't get my charge, bitches. But you're like, you could have saved it. I'm like, no, I mean, it would have taken it anyway. Yeah. It's like you wasted some spirit heart. Like, I don't care, motherfuckers. I. Okay, that was um, an odd way to do that. We. Oh my fuck! I'm not going that way. Hmm. Well, that's... to go through that door. But. Thank you. Thank you for being full of disappointment. Why couldn't you be filled with what's inside a Cadbury cream egg and Red Bull, huh? Was that too hard? Fucking hell. Motherfuckers! Okay. I really want to say that wasn't my fault. I really want to say that wasn't my fault. But we all know it was. Give me a nickel, motherfucker. Thank you. Counting on getting a better or getting an additional thing later. <sighs> hey, fucking stop pushing me! Asshole. Better metal snake. Better metal snake. Better metal snake. Better metal snake. I wish I had diplopia. I wish the fucking devil deal had propped. So I'd be set up for angel deals on the next floor. Please. Fuck. I don't feel cool with this challenge. But aside from that, I've seen like SteamWorld Dig 2 was on sale. I'm like, that's an 8, but I don't really feel like it. Then there was also a game that happened on my suggested. It was like Strip Fighter 5, which technically has no nudity, but 
I'll say this. Despite the fact that I play lewd games, eh, it just seemed tasteless. Like, I didn't buy it. I just looked at the stuff for it. I mean, like, it just it seemed pretty tasteless. I don't know. Plus, it just it seemed like it was barely above being a Flash game from what it looked like. I'm like, eh, that's kind of stupid. <sighs> yeah, um, I don't, I don't want to do this challenge unless it unlocks something amazing. I at least tried it. I'm bored of it. We're, we're done. Bye.